you to decide to succeed because I believe in you. You can succeed. All of you can succeed. Why? Because I know the deck is stacked in your favor. I already know the end result for you. We've already walked that path as examples of success right here. So I give you permission to go have success. If you're away from your permission, you just got it. Give yourself permission. Write this down. Keep it in your wallet. I, I did this just recently. I blank give myself, give, I, Scott, give myself permission to have success. Do it. Write it down right now. All right? And then write down, I got this. <laughs> Everybody stand up. I want you to tell your neighbor, I got this. I've got this. Got this. We got this. Okay, okay. I got this. Now, got this. look at your neighbor. Wait, look at your neighbor. <laughs> Did you believe him? Do you think your neighbor believes himself? How's the posture? Does the posture look like this? I got this. Do you believe me? I, I got this. <laughs> I believe you. All right. Or is the posture strong? All right. Is the posture? I learned from a TED talk. Uh, Ann Cuddy from Princeton said that your body can actually change your mind. Did you know if you have a strong posture, your, your chest is out like a Superman, right? Let me see your Superman. Let me see your Wonder Woman. We got Superman right there. There's a Wonder Woman back here. Right? When you stand like this, things change in your brain. Your, your testosterone goes up by 20%. That's your confidence marker. All right, your cortisol just goes down by 20%. That's a stress marker. So your posture can actually change your mind. We have a confident mind, you have a confident body. When we have a confident mind, you get positive results. So look at your neighbor again and tell them, I got this. Hey. Now say it again with confidence, I got this. Hey, I got this. That's right. Now give them a high five. Yeah, this is the video game. You <laughs> shook and you got this. So here's what I want you to do. After we're done talking, I want you to get your neighbor's phone and have him take your picture in your new confident position. Keep that <laughs> so when you go on your next big one-on-one, -on -one, your next big meeting, you can look at that picture and know you got this. So they're going to ask you, right? I want you to call and call your friends tonight, okay? I'm going to call your mama and say, Mom, I got this. Call your friends tonight and say, I got this. And they're going to say, what kind of cool lady feed you down in Texas? <laughs> you tell them this green grave, you're about to kick some axio. All right? Because this is your deal. It's your why. It's your chance to make this happen. And you know, give a second chance. It's your life. I love what they did earlier. Who's got a baton? You got it? Nip it. Thank you, dude. This is awesome. Because I remember when I got by my baton, it wasn't like this. It was the baton of this live band. It's opportunity. I didn't know they were going to do this today. And I just threw out the title back after my speech because this is so awesome that you just got handed your baton. I remember when I got mine in 2009, we had lots of excuses. We could have quit. We could have not done this. We made them our reasons. We had to do it. You've got your reason to do this. It's your life, and you got this. It's your race, and you got this. So keep your race. You're going to have the doubters. Outrun the doubters. Outrun the drama. Outrun where you're at now, and go get it and have your life. It's your race, and only you can run it. Nobody else can run this for you. We're all going to run it with you. So take this race and get it. All right, you got this? I got this. You got this? I got this. Who's got this?